Welcome back to another episode of the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today, guys, we're going to do something uh, always a little different. And tonight, it won't, it won't be a review or anything close to that. I just wanted to do um, pull out these installation testers and and talk about where they come from. Because uh, each one of these testers right here before you, they are uh, some high-quality installation testers, but all of them not made here in the United States. They are made from different places around the world. And I was just going to tell you a little bit about the company, not much, but just like how, the, how long the company's been in business and uh, where it was founded and things like that. So uh, without further ado, uh, ask you guys at the end of the video, if you are during the video, if you if you know, you're getting some out of it and you like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. When you do that, it supports the channel and I can't help to stress it enough. All of that is for free. So I would appreciate it and also leave a comment. And you guys who've been supporting the channel, I can't thank you enough, guys. I really appreciate the support, your continued support. And, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's move on with this. Okay. Uh... This, we're going, to, we're going to start from the, this one on the end right here, to your left. This is the Edge Tech. It's, made, it's a company that's been taken over by the FLIR Corporation. But S, the Edge Tech company uh, is a company here in the United States. It was founded in 1971. Uh, they've been uh, in a place called, some of you may have heard of it, Nashua, New Hampshire. Nashua, New Hampshire. Um, and that's where it's based at right now, and they're founded in 19, uh, 1971 uh, in the United States. Okay, and this is uh, their multimeter slash um, insulation tester. Here, uh, to to its left, I mean, to going to the right, is uh, um, an insulation slash multimeter made by a company called HT Instruments. Model number M70. I'm sorry, the model number for this, this installation test for uh, HTEC is the MG300. Okay, and that's an installation slash multimeter by HTEC Instruments. Um, this one, again, is made by a company called HT Instruments. Um, model number M70 ISO test. This is their installation slash installation meter slash multimeter. And this company was founded in Italy in 1983. 1983, they've been out and uh, they may also make some high quality uh, test instruments. You guys who, uh, you need to check them out. You need to check them out. I am really pleased with the stuff they've been putting out. All right, and this one, I don't know too much about, well, I didn't know too much about this one either, but um, this, comp this is by a company called, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, Rishab, and it's spelled R-I-S-H-A-B-A, -A, Rishab, and this is their version of uh, the insulation tester. This company here was founded in Italy, I mean India, in 1985. It's founded in 1985 in India. Okay, and this is their version of insulation tester slash uh, multimeter. And, and some of these, like this one here, it doesn't have a whole bunch of uh, multimeter functions, but they have the basics. You know, if you're testing a motor or something like that, your AC, DC voltage, you have ohms, I mean resistance, continuity, you, you know, things like that. And this one has the same thing, AC, DC voltage, continuity, and uh, resistance. This one have a few more than this, than this one does. Um, the Edge Tech it has a few more multimeter functions than these two. The one right here to your left, to the, where well, I'm putting my hand on, is the Fluke 1587 FC. Fluke was founded in the United States in 1948 in Everett, Washington. That's in the United States. Fluke, everybody in Fluke is renowned for having uh, top of the line instruments. They've since broken into the uh, hand tools market. They have a line of hand tools uh, on the market right now, insulated hand tools that I don't think I'll ever own because it's, they're too high and they got too much, they have too much other competition out there that's 
that's uh I'm thinking that's really nice. I wouldn't dare buy a fluke two for the the price that they have their insulated uh twos for. Uh if it's about to give it to me, yes. But uh I don't think I'll ever buy I don't think I'll ever own one of their twos. So fellas, I don't know if you'll expect only way I would have one of their twos if they send me one. Uh I wouldn't buy it. Uh, it have to be dirt cheap. But anyway. Fluke, that's Fluke, and that's their version of the, of the uh, insulation tester slash multimeter. And this also has a lot of uh, multi, multimeter functions with the Bluetooth also, Fluke Connect. This one is by Mega. Mega is, uh, it was founded in 1889 in Britain. Um, this is their version of the insulation sli tester slash multimeter also. They... This one doesn't have as many multimeter functions as these two, but they have the basics, AC, DC voltage, same as this one, uh, ohms, continuity, you know, and that's about it. And it goes from 250 volts to 1,000. This one goes to the same thing uh, uh, from 50 volts, no, I'm sorry, 125 to 1,000. This one, go, the flute goes from 50 volts to 1,000 volts. Uh, the Ideal Industries. Ideal uh, is headquartered in uh, Sycamore, Illinois, and it was founded in 1916. This multimeter is not, I mean, this uh, installation tester is not Ideal's own. It's, it's a rebrand from a company called APPA, A-P-P-A. -A. Um, I can't remember where APPA was located, its headquarters, but, uh, you know, there's, there are a lot of uh, multimeters out there that, that, that's been rebranded. I mean, that's been uh, that, that licensed Apple to make multimeters and other instruments for them. But this is an Apple multimeter. But since IDL have the name on it, I just went on and just, you know, uh, Googled uh, IDL information. Uh, again, it was founded in Sycam Sycamore, Illinois in 1916, IDL Industries. Up here, AEMC. Uh, and, and the model number to this one, to the eight, to the uh, idea industry is six one dash seven nine seven. The Mega, the model number is MIT four hundred slash two. Now we this uh, AMEC is a mega ohm meter. Model number six five two seven. AEMC was founded in uh, nineteen seventy six. No, I tell you what. AEMC is the division of Siobhan Arno. That was the, the main company. AEMC, AEMC is, a, is a division of Siobhan Arno. Siobhan Arno was founded in 1893. And AEMC, which is the division, like I just said, from Siobhan Arno, uh, was founded in 1976. And they're located in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Massachusetts, and that's in uh, United States. Hayoki, uh, Hayoki was founded in uh, 1935, and uh, in a in a city or a company. I mean, a city. I'm not a city. A country called. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, Koizuma, you, you Eda, Najano, and the spell. Uh, K O I Z U M I, comma, uh, U E D A, comma, N A G A N O, and uh, that's uh, it was founded in 1935, and this is that's for the Hayoki um, insulation tester with multimeter functions and they don't have much uh many multimeter uh just the basics like these have it has a uh, volt ac dc also have the uh resistance klein here klein twos it was founded in the united states in 1857 in lincolnshire illinois klein twos uh now all of these tools to me all of the tests that you see before you I would consult. I would consider this, all of them as being high quality. There are a lot of testers on the market, and there's still some out there that I haven't, that I don't have on this bench, um, that are high quality. Not many left. I tell you that now. Not many uh, left. 
uh, on the market that I would uh, purchase or even use um, insulation testers. In order for me to use a tool, especially an insulation tester like that, like this, uh, I have uh, it, it has to have uh, proven itself. Put it like that. It, it would have to have proven itself. Uh, reviews, uh, certifications, and things, so on and so forth. But um, I've done a review on each one of these instruments before. I've compared them against one another. And if you'd like to see that video, just go to my main YouTube page, scroll down through all my all of my videos, and you can see that I've uh, compared them. I did. Uh, I've done uh, uh, introduction videos for each one of them individually, and I've compared them against one another. And uh, gave you my opinion on which one I would pick, which one I think is the better, the, the, the better instrument, and so on and so forth. So I won't hold you long again. I just wanted to pull this, uh, just to put this out to give you some guys something to look at. Um, an insulation tester is, is one hell of a tool. And uh, if you don't have one and you work in the electrical field, uh, testing measurement, uh, troubleshooting, H even HVAC, and you, I think, uh, besides a clamp meter, an insulation tester slash multimeter is one of the best tools you can purchase. So, guys, I won't hold you up. I just wanted to do this little video and give you guys something to look at. Uh, again, if you like the video, hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. I sure would appreciate it, and it helps build the channel. You guys take care, and peace out.